Om Namah Shiva children. First of all, I would like to welcome you all to the new session of class 10. This is my first uh, computer video. I have shared with you all the PA and term 1 syllabus over here. Please take it down in your copies everyone. Now let us start with the first chapter. The chapter is Internet. I hope you are having your books in front of you and also pencils to mark down the important points. Also take out your copies because you have to uh, draw a few things that I will be instructing you as we proceed through the video. Okay, so the first is internet basics. So you can see a diagram over here where you can see a globe and computers and many human beings are connected over here. So as the name suggests internet where from this word is coming. Internet this word is coming from two words interconnection and network. So basically internet is interconnection of networks networks of what networks of different kinds of computer they are interconnected so that human beings can share resources among each other okay so let us do the definition the internet also net is a global computer network where each network consists of multiple computers connected through wired and wireless media using standardized communication protocols to share resources. So over here I would like to describe to you standardized communication protocol. Now protocol means rules and regulation. Whenever there are multiple computer connected to each other, the computers connected must follow rules and regulations so that there is a standard um, protocol being shared among all this computer and they can share the resources effectively because if there is no standardization the communication would be difficult this is why com standardized communication protocol is maintained between the connected computers okay now we have read internet now let us read another more term called intranet now what is this intranet is also connection of computers but unlike internet intranet is a network of computers that is shared privately among different computers that is connected by private communication network okay let's read an internet or uh, sorry an intranet is a private network that can only be accessed by authorized users to share resources securely now basically as you can see in the diagram also intranet network server there is a server which is connected to different computers only this computers those are connected to the main server can share the files outside this particular network no other computer can share so this is the difference between internet and intranet if i go back to the slide you will see in internet globally the computers are connected everyone present in the on on the globe or on the earth can share the resources through network but in intranet only few computers and uh, basically the computers that is owned by a private company are connected so that the private company the, or the employees can share the files among each other and there is safety in the resources so that the resources does not go outside the company. So let's read once more. An intranet is a private network that can only be accessed by authorized users to share resources securely. Now let us read some features of it. PCs in intranet are not available to the world outside of the intranet. Usually each company or organization has their own intranet network and employees of that company can access the computers in their intranet. Intranet is a private network owned by private firms. In intranet there are limited users, only the employees that is. Intranet provides limited information to everyone in the within the company can only find the information not available for anyone outside the network. Okay now next is evolution of the internet that is how did this internet come up so it was first orpanet or the advanced research projects agency network the full form that was the first wide area packet switching net network as you all know that in internet also data travel in the form of packets but that is 
the technology that is used now earlier also this technology was used and the first technology and the first network which used this technology was orpanet that is advanced research project agency network it was founded in 1969 by the us and department of defense now next was in the mid 80s nf nsf net that is national science foundation network which was a better than orpanet was uh, found and now that is private and later on in 1990s orpanet nsf net and private networks also together found out internet that that is we are using right now or world wide web that is popularly called now organizations governing the internet now only one organization does not govern or does not take care of the entire internet there are many volunteers or groups or organizations that take care of it the first one we'll read is internet architecture board as the name suggests internet architecture board takes care of the architecture of the internet the protocols used for communication and resources within the com computers next is internet engineering task force ietf it develops and maintains the internet's communication protocols that is how the communication among the computers will take uh, take uh, for will be taken forward internet research task force it looks into long term research problems that might come up in 5 or 10 years so always you know in internet uh, or in, in whichever technology there is a need of research work that research work is taken up by internet research and task force irtf and internet network information center that is inter nic it provides various registry services needed for the internet to operate effectively registry service like password username all these things are being provided by the internet network information center now there are other organizations also for now we have read this for iab ietf irtf inter nic you need to know the full forms also now working of the internet how does the internet work how tcp ip works now the full form of tcp ip is transmission control protocol transmission uh, transmission control protocol and ip is internet protocol please write down the full form in the copy okay so and also you have to draw this entire diagram in the white page of the copy in the horizontal way make the copy in the horizontal way and you can write it down so let us follow the diagram properly this is from the sender side okay i'm sorry yeah this is from the sender side that you can see a sender is sending some data say a picture or a audio and this is from the receiver side that is recipient who is receiving the audio or uh, image that is being sent now i already told you that data are being divided into packets like you all are aware of buffering buffering also happens because the data is broken down into packets that's why sometimes the entire data is not received to not sent to the receiver at one go because of that only the buffering takes place now how the steps at each step of network you will see router or something called gateways gateways means the entry point of whenever the uh, the network of computers are there gateway or routers are like the entry point whenever from network to network the data is are passing on it passes through this entry point that you can see over here named as router okay so those first one what is happening the tcp protocol breaks data into packets the whatever the data is say be it a image be it audio it's broken down into packets first then the packets are being distributed through this routers or gateways that you can see in the network So the step two is this packet travel from router to router over the internet according to the IP protocol. IP protocol means internet protocol. As you all know that all computers have unique IP address. They match the IP address, the TCP. They match the IP address, and according to the IP address, router to router it is sent. And the IP address which will match to that recipient only the data will be going. at the receiving end what happens the data which are broken down are reassembled so that the entire image or the whatever you have sent the audio or video is coming up properly as a whole so step 3 this tcp protocol reassembles the packets into the original whole so as long the reassembling is going on you can see a buffering so this is how the internet works so this is how a file is transferred from the sender to the recipient in the form of data packets that passes from gateway or routers that is there within the network
okay please draw this uh, particular diagram in the copy and also write down this step uh, stepwise uh, things in the copy okay so today we have done till here next day we shall proceed with other topics of the same chapter namaskar